the president has not spoken out about that American citizen, Francisco Garcia. He is an 18-year-old American wrongfully detained by immigration officials who say that he was, to, and he says that he was told he had, quote, no rights. He's a U.S. citizen. Galicia says the conditions at a Customs and Border Protection facility were so terrible, he almost agreed to be deported just to get out of those conditions. CNN's Nick Valencia, he has the story. Jim and Poppy, Francisco Galicia and his attorney believe that he was racially profiled. He sat down with CNN for an interview and he was surprisingly in good spirits. But he does say that this experience has changed him. Francisco Galicia is home at last, but the reminders of his detention are never far away. Sitting in his South Texas home, the 18-year-old American says what he went through should never have happened, even if immigration officials allege he's partly to blame. Immigration officials say that there was confusion about your status because there was conflicting documents. Do you think that this was about the documents or do you think that this was about something else? They thought they were superior. They looked at us with such distaste. I think it was like a certain type of racism. For three weeks, he slept on the concrete with nearly 70 others who were doing the same. They didn't even treat you like human beings. No. He survived off bologna sandwiches and says every three to four days, he was given a wet wipe to clean himself. You didn't shower at all? No. I lost for 23 days. You didn't shower for 23 days? For 23 days, for 23 days with a bad diet, I lost nearly 30 pounds. In his 27 days in custody, Galicia said no one ever believed he was American. At one point, tired of trying to explain himself, he considered self-deporting to Mexico. They just mess with your mind. Sí. How? how? Explain. Eh, pues, la verdad, amenazándome. The truth, threatening me that they were going to press charges, charges for falsifying documents, the whole time insulting me that how could I not know where I was from. This all started on June 27th when Galicia, along with his brother and two friends, left their home in Edinburgh and headed north. They were stopped at a checkpoint in Falfurias, about 100 miles north of the border, while on their way to Ranger College in central Texas for a soccer camp. Galicia, who was born in the U.S. but grew up in Mexico, was carrying documents proving he was an American. But he also carried a tourist visa that mistakenly listed his birth country as Mexico. This individual provided conflicting reports regarding status of citizenship after being apprehended. Situations including conflicting reports from the individual and multiple birth certificates can and should take more time to verify. CBP and U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement said in a joint statement Wednesday, Galicia thinks border agents would have believed he was American if not for his broken English. There are going to be people that watch this interview and say that you live in the United States, you're an American, you should be speaking English. What do you, you smile, what, what do you say to those people? I don't speak English, but I'm going to learn it, and I'll speak it later. Is this a more of a, a reason to learn English now? I have to learn it to talk to everyone and everyone so that the next time this happens, they'll believe me. Somehow, he's able to laugh about his time in custody, which he said ended after media picked up his story. But just a few days removed from detention, he spends a lot of time thinking about those who aren't as lucky. Our president talks about how there's a lot of bad actors, a lot of, a lot of people that are here to do harm among those that are coming to this country. But you're telling me you felt more scared being in the presence of the ICE officials and, and the officials, immigration officials, than you did with the migrants. When you, were, when you were there, how many of the migrants would you say were here to do harm to the United States? None. None wanted to come to do harm. All came in search for a better future. After being locked up with them, he now considers some of them friends. He keeps a handful of phone numbers on tiny pieces of paper he received from those friends while in the facility. He's calling families in Central America to tell them their loved ones are still alive. To see the suffering of other people, it made me understand many things. One can live his life here in a certain way while others suffer. You speak for them now? Yes. I mean, I try to because they can't talk. I'm like their eyes and ears from their inside. Walking outside, Galicia says the air to him smells fresher than before. Things look and feel different, too. And so does he. Even though he lives on the border, prior to his detention, he never paid attention to the migrant crisis. Now, he's lived it. 
While CBP and ICE didn't directly respond to the allegations, they did send CNN a statement, which read in part, we are committed to fair treatment of migrants in our custody and continue to take appropriate steps to verify all facts of this situation. Meanwhile, Galicia says if the U.S. government was to apologize for what happened, that an I'm sorry is not good enough and that someone needs to be held accountable. His lawyer tells me they plan on filing a federal lawsuit for his wrongful detention.